All right, welcome in, guys. My name is Yao A. Owusu Jr. I call myself your resident vitality advisor. So we advise people on, uh, or consulting people on, what is vitality? How can we get it? Now, the real story is the 3E method, education, experience, and expertise. I'm gonna walk you through my story and how I got here as a vitality advisor. So a little bit about my education. Uh, Florida State University, Go Knowles. I played football there, but mostly I honed my skills in education as an exercise physiologist. That just means doing anything that has to do with exercise, explaining that process. So chemistry, biology, organic chem, physics, all those fun science classes all uh, wrapped around into how we shape and how we look at exercise and how that will help humans optimize their genetic potential. So that started my journey at Florida State University. At graduating, I went to Boston for a short stint. That's where I was a, a dental assistant, right? Uh, and from there, I went to my true passion, listening to my sister, Nana Adua Awusu, right? The late, great uh, ancestor. And she said, go with your passion, what you went to school for. So that is helping human beings be better, right? So making people aware of that. So as I left, uh, Boston, I went to DC, and that's when uh, I started my journey as a personal trainer. Uh, I mastered the personal training realm um, with TSI, uh, that's Townsend Sport and Health International. Uh, they do all the New York sports clubs, uh, Pennsylvania sports club, DC sports club. So I was down there in Washington, DC. Uh, from that, I got my NASM education, which is National Academy of Sports Medicine, uh, and then I became a master level trainer. And then I went to uh, Los Angeles and furthered my education. From there, I got certified through nutrition, uh, precision nutrition, which is the essentials of nutrition, which was my real passion, which is nutri for nutrition. And I became a consultant uh, of wellness. So started as a personal training, mastered that, then went on to performance coaching, mastered that, uh, and then now coming to New York City as that wellness consultant. Now, what we do believe uh, is in education. That's really what I hone my skills in. They used to call me the professor, right? And that just means I love education. Education in its truest form is just uh, really making people aware of their surroundings, be perspicacious, if you will. All right, so that education of going from personal trainer to a performance coach and now to a wellness consultant, that's really the story of my uh, education. And from there, just picking up little pieces that would add to, um, I would say, my crowning jewel of education, which is developing my own academy. We started as Peak Fit Academy, and now we are PVA, Peak Vitality Academy, and it's online coaching, uh, I would say online coaching academy, right? And what we do is we help coaches that don't, don't have any uh, expertise or don't have any experience uh, don't have the education and we kind of walk them through the steps of becoming a personal trainer into a coach and if they want to carry on further to be a consultant. Uh, it's a, a year-long uh, online process that we put, put uh, coaches through and we call it continuing education. So once you get your certified uh, personal training certificate from many different sources, like I said before, uh, I got mine from NASM, uh, also studying in ACSM back in college then we put that all together and then you have your Peak Vitality Academy certification and we kind of go with that. We have classes on uh, nutrition, we have classes on restorative human movement. We'll talk about that a little bit later as we go into uh, my experiences. So my experiences will start off in college. I went to Florida State University, we said that before, but I played football and track and field. So two sport athlete, you can see that I didn't have that much time, uh, but again, I was a student athlete, right, I'm West African, so education comes first. So in that aspect, we did make it happen, but people will say it's a grind, but through that experience, it gave me a lot of resilience to make it through, right, as being a student athlete. Uh, played on the Florida State uh, football team, uh, actually went uh, to DC um, after that aspect, and from there, I tried out for uh, a couple of NFL teams, for Baltimore Ravens and for the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, didn't quite make the team, but having that experience as well uh, gave me a new insight to training professional athletes. Uh, my experience in DC and then moving on to Los Angeles, training Olympic athletes. 
So that aspect of training kids to training athletes to training normal people has given me a wide range uh, of experiences uh, for to kind of service uh, a good amount of people. So in DC, that's why I mastered personal training. So that experience of being a personal trainer, working out myself, and being an athlete trying out for professional teams was great. Moving to Los Angeles, my experience was now just a professional coach. So as a performance coach, which is different from a personal trainer, now I have people under my wing. I'm also an educator. So this is where I honed Peak Fit Academy, which is now Peak Vitality Academy, but that's an online training business that helps coaches up or optimize their clients' potential to be a optimized human being, right? So that's where I kind of honed my skills in Los Angeles as a performance coach, building up a team. And this is where I became a solopreneur. And I say that because I had my own LLC, but I was the only person under that LLC. Now, moving from Los Angeles and getting into Hollywood, right? This is where I started coaching a lot of celebrities, um, coaching a little bit more professional athletes, and I really started coaching a lot of trainers. So I got uh, the name, the trainer for trainers, right? Or the professor. So. Having that aspect of mastering of my craft as a personal trainer in Washington, D.C., moving to Los Angeles, and then mastering my craft as a coach, and then bringing on a team of uh, other coaches for my education platform. Then I moved on to New York, where I currently am now, and this is where I partnered with beautiful Katie Emerson Media that's making us look good. Um, and those are the wellness partnerships. Uh, the biggest partnership right before COVID happened was partnering with Nicholas Lopez Jr., who's my current partner over the last three years in formulating Peak Vitality Solutions. Now, PVS is the first wellness coaching and consulting technology firm. Uh, we developed that through COVID, and now we are moving to the aspect of getting into the digital form and giving you content through education, experiences, and now our expertise. Now we're gonna get into my favorite, the expert. Why should you guys be listening to me? Now obviously, uh, the education and the experience plays a big role, and if you do it for a long time, then you become an expert. So we talk about Ma Malcolm Gladwell, those 10,000 hours. So we'll show you how we've, we've kind of done that. Sometimes I speak in the third person, all right? Now, that expertise comes from the education and the experience. Now, you have to do that for a very long time. So having uh, a plethora of different clients that we've trained from professional athletes to professional actors to just professional human beings to top CEOs to uh, youth from six years old to my old, eldest uh, state woman of 89 years old, teaching little kids how to run better, teaching uh, our mature audiences how to walk better, right? We have to make sure that we optimize everyone's life throughout their span and this is what we call vitality so you check someone's vital 180 over 20 blood pressure how well can you keep that throughout your life in your 30s your 40s your 50s your 60s so the expertise that we're really talking about is taking individuals from different walks of life not cookie cutter but everyone can follow under this and that's what i believe an expert is so being able to consult someone or advise someone that's six years old that wants to get better for uh, in the running aspect or a climber that wants to climb Everest, or an actor that wants to optimize his range and his ability. It doesn't matter who you are, um, what we do in coaching, consulting, and technology is really where the expertise comes in. Right? So this platform of technology that we see, we're distributing content free, charge, subscription, however it meets your kind of um, aspect for life. So we wanna meet you where you are. Uh, then the coaching aspect, we already talked about my prowess in that and the experience in that. So becoming an expert is just doing something well and effective over time. So the experience level from 2005 when I first became a personal trainer all the way to now where I'm a, a vitality advisor, so what we call ourselves, that is where my expertise lies. Uh, and then lastly, I would say just relating with uh, consumers, just relating with clients, relating with the culture of making sure transformation will happen. So I would say it encompasses everything as far as the expertise of transformation, 
right? So long story short, that's really what we're after. We're after transformation. That's transformation of your mindset, transformation of your sleep hygiene, transformation of your nutrition, transformation of your recovery state, and transformation of your exercise. Those five pillars is where we hang our hat on expertise. That is vitality training system. Stay tuned for a lot more content on this aspect. But remember, you're always given the choice, actually the responsibility to heal and destroy your body, right? And that expertise and that mind comes from always choosing wisely. Let's get into it.